Good Tuesday morning to all my students out there. This is really my first day at home. I know it was you guys' second day at home because you were home yesterday. So in addition to posting my lesson of the week, which I started yesterday, those are longer, I'm going to also be posting a tip of the day, which is going to be short and something that you could think about doing that day um, or kind of focusing on that day. So today I actually had two quick tips. The first is, do you know that today is a very special day? It is St. Patrick's Day and I had actually purchased this scarf, see it, to wear to work today so I couldn't let it go to waste. So I had to wear it to share with you guys. So everyone should wear the color green today in honor of St. Patrick's Day. And you might even think about reading a St. Patrick's Day book. My um, video to my preschoolers actually does have a couple of St. Patrick's Day books in it. But um, anyway, you can find a book online or through Epic if you're an older student. But anyway, think about St. Patrick's Day today. And my tip for the day is that I wanted you and your family to think about a schedule during this time off from school. So maybe you could think about like a morning schedule and an afternoon schedule. And that'll make things just like a little bit better for everybody. You could take paper and draw um, pictures to represent what um, each time block is going to be. Like if you're going to have a reading block, you might draw a book. Or if you're going to have a math time, you might draw numbers, one, two, three. If you're going to have play time, you might draw a ball, or you could even just draw a smiley face. If you're going to have a food break in there, you might just draw um, some crackers, or you could put a glass to represent that you're going to have a little food break. So um, we all do better when we're on a schedule, my family included. So that was my tip for today, was to think about your schedule during this, which could be a pretty long break from school. Um, I hope not, but this bad bug that's out there um, has us all kind of not knowing how long we're going to be gone. So I was going to suggest that. And then today I'm going to give a second tip. Since it's St. Patrick's Day, if it's not raining all day, which I don't think it's supposed to rain all day, I was going to say you should go outside and try to find a four-leaf clover um, in honor of St. Patrick's Day. And that would be something you could look around for in the grass and use your visual discrimination skills and um, just have a good time looking for a four-leaf clover. So anyway, that's Miss Trisha's tips for the day. One, work on a schedule. And two, find a four-leaf clover. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow for my tip of the day. Love you all and stay well. Bye-bye.